Hello, I'm Jacob and this is the Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. Today, for the Hidden Holler Homestead vlog, we're going to look at me and my family logging some trees off my property in hopes of making a pole barn. This will be the first video in a series. My dad and brother came down and my mom, you can see my dad here, uh, banging out one of these locust trees that I have in a low spot on my property. The trees can be kind of tricky because a lot of them are weighted very heavily on one side and of course they are all near my fencing and animal areas so uh, luckily my dad is a good logger and put all the trees right where he wanted them. The locust is going to be the beams because it's a really hard wood that is rot resistant. We got six of them and got kind of some six by six ish beams. Notice that axe that my dad's using, you'll see him use it a bit more. It's an old council tool um, Dayton pattern or rail splitter with a six pound head and about a 24 inch handle. And he had about six of them from when he was logging professionally. So the family's been using council tool axes for a long time. Once all of these trees came down, the goats got spoiled because we uh, threw the tops and leaves into them. Little Patton uh, is just transferring from milk to leaves, so he looks so funny when he's eating them. It's really a good time watching him. He's so goofy. Once we had the trees down, we used a pulley system and my truck to first pull them up into the front yard and then get them pulled to where we'd eventually mill them. It's crazy because this piece of my property looks 100% different after dropping just a couple trees. It was a dark, swampy wasteland in there before. For the dimensional lumber, we're using pine. Uh, we were planning on use, uh, dropping two smaller trees, but ended up going for kind of one mid-sized tree. This tree's about two feet at the base without the bark. It was, uh, it was quite a tall tree. Their dad's banging on that wedge with that council tool axe again. The reason he's banging on the wedges is it's going to keep from getting his bar pinched, and it's going to give him more control over where the tree goes and when. So it's really just about having control of everything. That's my brother Jeremiah. He just got out of the military recently. This has really been an awesome opportunity for my dad because he was a professional logger um, before and a while during he was in the army. and uh, But he hadn't been able to drop any big trees for quite some time. So this was the first good sized tree he'd been able to drop for a while. He used to log in Washington where he got to drop a lot of big trees and clear cut areas on a fairly regular basis. But uh, there's definitely something cool about harvesting trees on your property for actually building something as opposed to just cutting them down and burning them to get them out of the way. And there's definitely something satisfying about seeing a tree this big going down. Man, you just can't beat that. Once the tree was down, we had hoped that uh, we'd be able to just hook it up to the truck and uh, drive off. Ouch, that hurt. As you can see. We were a little more successful later, but it seemed like it was a lot of wear and tear on the truck. Uh, it just was not going smoothly at all. I thought maybe the tractor would give us some better luck. At this point, the tree, the second piece of log here, actually was not fully uh, cut from the rest of the tree. So I had absolutely no chance, which is kind of hilarious. That's a 1940 Alice Chalmers B which is one of the smallest tractors that you're going to get. 
Um, it's a sweetheart, but certainly did not have the butt to pull out the entire tree. Uh, not much does, to be honest. Once we realized that the tree was not fully separated, we cut that section of log free, and I thought I'd give it another go. The Alice Chalmers has something like 13 or 14 draw bar horsepower, which I've read I think is about 24 uh, horse by today's standards. So very, very small machine. I was hoping with the low gearing I'd be able to just tow this out. If I could have dragged these logs, it would have saved us an entire day of work. Also, my mowing deck there, I couldn't bring that up, which was kind of a bummer uh, that it was it hangs so low. I have to get some skids made for that, and I'm going to upgrade my hydraulics and upgrade the rear to a three-point hitch, and that should give me the ability to pull it up when I want to. Yeah, the old girl just does not have the sack to pull anything even nearly that heavy. Not even close. It was fun using the separate brakes, though, kind of as a posi traction. As one wheel was spinning, I'd lock it up and get the other wheel spinning, but it just was not enough. Not even close. The next option was getting a block up in a tree and uh, pulling them out with a winch. This was a very, very, very slow way of doing things. Uh, the winch just goes inches at a time. The rope stretches that we were using, we were using some of Dad's old logging rope, uh, had quite a bit of stretch and we spent an entire day just trying to figure out how to get this done, how to make everything work, and then just pulling. It was a really, really long process. The little winch uh, often sounded like it was going to explode. Either the wire would pop when it rolled over a higher section of wire down to a lower, or the tree would let go real quick and the entire line would pop and rust would pop off the line. And uh, it was slow and honestly it's a little intimidating being so close to that cable uh, pulling all of that in but it worked. It was slow. It was slow going. It was hot. It was muggy. But it definitely worked. And uh, it was really neat to see and watch. Slow moving from the other side. We pulled out three 14 foot chunks of pine. I have some projects planned for the rest of the tree. weather got a little bit wild a couple times that day. I think it rained on us two or three times. Got a little damp. Here's uh, the first biggest log being pulled up. Dad was putting some stuff under the log to keep them suspended. A little family photo here. Council tools, steel. I tried my own hand at climbing this was my first ever attempt. I've been watching my dad do it my entire life and uh, never tried it myself. It was a lot more difficult than I would have imagined. Um, I was able to see him do it and then try it again 
and I was a lot better the second time and actually accomplished my goal. But the first time, I ended up coming down a little bit early. My stuff wasn't adjusted quite right, and my legs were killing me. Uh, it's a lot harder and a lot more awkward than it looks. I promise you that. There's the logs stacked up. Once they were all pulled up to the first position, we had to then get them out to the second position where they'd eventually be milled. So we hung another block in the tree, pulled that block down, and started the whole process over again. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. The next video will be the actual milling process with projects by night. Uh, Big thanks to him for helping us out. This was an incredible project and an incredible time. And uh, I think everybody had a blast.